Hello folks, this is Don Browning down in Central Florida and uh, <clears throat> this is the kickoff of Banjo Frailing which is a uh, an attempt to bring the fun of banjo, uh, banjo playing into regular life. Uh, I got involved a couple of months ago in banjo and I thought, well, I'm playing banjo, so I thought, well, it, it might be a good idea to let people know how easy it is, because I always thought it was complicated. So, uh, <clears throat> I, um, I got a couple of banjos, and I got involved, and they said sit up straight. Well, I don't always sit up straight. I'm an old guy, so I just sort of do things the way I want to do them, and uh, nobody can fire me. So, what I wanted to do was show folks how you can take up banjo playing and use it as a metaphor in life for handling and learning the fundamentals of anything and find out, build your confidence, find out how sharp you are. Now when you get to be, I'm, I'm 76 here shortly, uh, when you get up in the 70s you're constantly thinking about, well, wait a minute, is this early onset? You know, you forget where your keys are or you forget somebody's name. Uh, probably is just uh, what, what's been going on in life. But, but you're always kind of questioning, uh, are you still as sharp as you thought you were or you used to be? So I was doing a real estate deal and I wanted to kind of test myself. So I, I went ahead and bought a couple banjos. Bought a banjo, then I bought some more. So here we are, about, uh, I'm going to say, um, well, it's not, it's a little over three months, probably about three and a half months. And uh, banjo is just very doable. And you don't have to be so great at it uh, to just thoroughly enjoy it and jam in, get with folks. Now there's a guy um, that I've linked up with named David Holt. He's, uh, I, I think he's with a uh, little bit with Deering, uh, Deering banjos, and there's there's Deering banjos. All right, then there's a, and they they'll teach you how to do this. You can do it, the picking thing, the forward, forward and back roll, I'm not so much into that. Uh, I kind of like the frailing thing. Um, uh, David's got a deal where you put a, you, you can go to him, David Holt, Deering, Banjos, uh, how to s get started. And here's what he'll, he'll uh, be sure you get to this lesson and it's about a credit card. He puts a credit card in your hand and says, look, Hold that card and get with me. Learn how to do the strum on the right hand. All right. Once you get that, then you slip up to the uh, left hand, start doing chords. beginning, first month or so, it's a little bit treacherous. First two weeks, you got to get this part down. And one of the best guys to get you started on that is a guy named Patrick Costello. You can go online and get him. Now Patrick, Young man, been around, good guy. He put on a, uh, a retreat, a uh, banjo retreat, and I drove up from Florida all the way to Wisconsin, uh, to uh, Maryland, Maryland, across from Baltimore. So uh, he put on a retreat. I've met so many wonderful people out of that retreat. Not only were at the retreat, but 
uh, afterwards uh, were involved uh, uh, that I've met. And there's kind of a, a, a quality filter involved in music, musical instruments, especially the banjo. I don't know exactly. The guitar, the banjo, the mandolin, the fiddle, violin, they all are kind of a criteria uh, for weeding out folks that just don't want to get involved and enjoy themselves. So, let's see. We'll, we'll go over some songs, but I just wanted to show you. Changing chords, getting the basic strum. this guy uh, absolutely one of the intellectual I think he's the intellectual giant uh, of the banjo world his name is Clifton Hicks now Clifton's a young man uh, very pensive very very deep uh, kind of uh, 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 he, he, he's uh, he's kind of cere cerebral he, he's up there thinking and he's doing and he really is feeling and he has gotten around all the old-timey folks or you know lots of them and kind of made a flavor out of that and boy does it link you into history link you into uh, just incredible uh, 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 anchor in good right just spiritual psychological um, just a lot of very good things. All right. There's another guy, David Holt. Maybe, maybe I mentioned David, but David Holt. He's like the rhythm man. The rhythm man. just the way the banjo works and it, it it talks to you and it lets you talk in another language um, uh, David Holt is Mr. Rhythm I mean I never saw a guy that has such a rhythm uh, uh, capacity uh, he's the one with the credit card uh, just learn do it do it two weeks come on back he's got a uh, he's got some discs out there that you can buy and put them in your computer and follow his thinking uh, absolutely incredible then there's um, there's the three amigos, um, Dwayne, Dwight, Dwayne out of uh, uh, Buffalo, New York, uh, Tom, Tom Boday, Tom, the Cajun out of uh, the Frenchman, the French man, uh, out of uh, Louisiana and Cindy, and uh, great banjo people. Um, and uh, let's see, the Leather Man. It's called Leather 72. Um, Eric is Leather 72. Now Eric is incredible. Goes way back on the on the uh, guitar, way back on the banjo. Absolutely incredible. Um, so these are people I met. met on the at the retreat and I'll do a little piece for you and then what we're gonna do is I'll, I'll, I'll come up with a a stylized way to integrate important things in your life all I say is if you enjoy it you probably do pretty well at it and banjo is a pretty easy thing to enjoy uh, I got I actually went through guitar this is all within just a couple months of guitar, mandolin, got the book, I'm looking at it, oh wow, is that simple, wow, now not great, but just to be able to do the chords, uh, violin, wait a minute, hey, that's kind of cool, and you don't even have to strum, you just go with the bow, oh wow, that's cool, then I got on this, and got a whole bunch of, whole bunch of banjos, and I'll, I'll go into, how I got through the first week, first two weeks, first month, first 
uh, couple of months and and the progress that you can expect especially most people are going to be a little sharper than I am and probably a little younger um, so uh, whether you're an aerobatic champ you're an artist uh, you're a sailing instructor or a champion whatever it is that you do business you're a Donald Trump kind of like billionaire type I don't care what it is you do to solve your problems, uh, to, 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 to uh, uh, enhance your life, quality of life. Uh, I don't care what it is, you can learn and help to uh, cement that with the banjo. So let's see, we'll go out, uh, this I did up at the, um, up at, no, no, I didn't do this particular one, but here's one. It's an old family song. I don't know where in the world it comes from, but with someone like you, be kind, good and true. I'd like to leave it all behind and go and find a place that's known to God alone. Just. Okay, until another time. Uh, like Walter Winchell used to say, Mr. and Mrs. United States and all the ships at sea, let's go to press. Let's play the banjo.